What's up guys, it's your boy Metroptor, also known as Luke Satus Patella, and welcome to another part of my Disney's Dinosaur walkthrough series. Last time we had to save free baby Iguanodon uh, for Nera, and we find out why Flea is an idiot, but it uh, doesn't matter, today we're gonna do the next level. We're actually halfway through the game right now. Yep, this is mission number 8. There were 14 missions, so do the math. So without further ado, let's get to it. Here we go, of course, mission number 7, which was from last part, 100%, 100%, 395 experience points for completing this mission. And let's just do the next one. We're halfway through it, so let's do the second half. When it gets dark, the night predators in the ravine become active. Eladar is anxious. Nera has been wandering off to this godforsaken place without being aware of the darkness fading in stuff. Pretty much, Nero's an idiot. Nero pretty much went Leeward Jankings. And now Larry's like, fuck Leeward Jankings. First of all, we're Flea. And we have to knock some pits down. Pretty much the unstable parts of the ground. 180 experience points for completing this mission. This was the only thing Flea had to do pretty much in this level. And look at that experience bar. It's almost up. I'm kind of curious to actually just kill that Champasaurus with Flea, so she will level up, but nah, whatever. Come on, let's do the duo stance, here we go. Whew. So we have to go walk through here, of course, and this is, it looks pretty straightforward. Eh, it has a bit of a surprise, actually. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit annoying, just a tad annoying, just a little tad annoying. Uh, let's see. First, we have to do this. Alrighty then, that was actually kind of awkward. Ah, uh, Champasaurus. Yeah. We have to kill Champasaurus all day. Life crystal, of course, hidden under that rock. Oh, hello, Albertosaurus. What's up? You wanna do a can't touch this move? Yeah, okay, that kind of hurt. Still killed your ass. <laughs> yeah, the thing is with... Uh, I actually tried this with Albatrosaurus. It's the thing when you want to do the cat touch this move. And like, it has a... Um, how do you explain this? Um, You can see that the Albatrosaurus has a long animation before it actually tries to attack. It goes back and then it launches in, takes a bite out of you or something. So you probably think, well, just do the can touch this move whenever... He's about to attack. And I did, but it turned out the hitbox is just broken. Oh, yeah. So we're going up to the first secret of Zini, which actually isn't a secret because you're supposed to get her in the first place. Oh, fucked that up. Yeah, you're supposed to get her in the first place. That's kind of weird. Like, it says, hey, it's a secret. It's not really a secret. You're supposed to go around. So whatever. All right, free experience points. Oh, I'm okay with that. Uh, here you go. So you complete his mission. There's a power stone in here. And yeah, this is also a path, but you need Zinni cannot jump over that. You have to fly here with Flea. So we're gonna do that too, because that's the second and also the last kind of secret. Well, officially, yeah, it's the last secret in the level. So there are only two. Aladar has its own secrets, which we'll still see soon. But first we're gonna go get Flea, because Whatever. Uh, I could probably go and take a hit on the Velociraptor that's up ahead and then just... Yeah, I could because then Flea will automatically level up. But then again, Flea will level up once once she gets the experience for completing the level, so it doesn't really matter. And I really would like to get up here, Flea, please. Flea, seriously, we're su yeah, we're supposed... Flea, you're supposed to fly over this shit, thanks. Because <laughs> here's the secret. Oh yeah, she leveled up anyways. What am I, such a derp? Oh, okay, well that's cool. Burning asteroid, power stone. We're not gonna use any power stones today though. Well, I could, but I don't really want to. Yeah, Flea's level up. Good. Good, yeah, see, yeah. he's happy. Um, first I'm gonna kill, kill the Velociraptor that's up ahead, and then I wanna show you something. There's gonna be a huge box of text explaining what's happening. Boom. So, here we go. 
normally what I would do is just, you know, get Flea, scout a bit, see what's up ahead. Yeah, I see there's actually nothing. Yeah, there's a Chimposaurus. And then it says, be careful, in this maze, Flea cannot detect the traps anymore. To fight Nier, you have to rely on the sound you hear. But watch out, it's too dangerous to go alone, stick together in the group. Yeah. So yeah, there's like an invisible wall now. Because the game doesn't allow you to go and scout with Flea. Also, if you look at the minimap, it, it doesn't show any of the walls. It's just one big area. So, it's a maze. And the only kind of aid you get is uh, to rely on the sounds. And there are two types of sounds. There's a good sound, there's a bad sound. And we're gonna explain exactly what this does. So again, invisible wall, unless you go into power stance mode. And suddenly the wall is gone and the music kicks in or something. So here we go, here's your Champosaurus. And here's the thing, I'm gonna go into the wrong path now. And listen carefully what will happen to the music. This is the sound you hear when you go the wrong path. So normally your instinct should say, oh, let's go back. The first time you do this, you know, you do this level or this maze, you have no idea what's going on. You probably think, oh, it's just part of the soundtrack or something. No, it's triggered. It's triggered at some point. So you probably think, look, they'll go in here, but I have to. You know why? 100%. In order to get this 100%, we need to kill all the enemies in here. This also means going to the wrong path just enough to kill all the enemies. If I go left or right here, I will die. How do you mean you will die? Because like I said, Flea cannot detect the traps anymore. So if you just walk off, you might just fall into one of those pits, like the floor will crumble and you'll die. And yes, there's only one save point in here. So once you die somewhere in the maze, you go all the way back to the beginning. So be careful, please. <laughs> so here we go, we're gonna go to the wrong path again. Uh, there is an item here, so I could pick it up. Just have to be very careful, because if I walk oh, any God. further, I'll die. So yeah, it is actually rewarding to go to the wrong path, but you can never really tell how far you can go into the path. Like this one. This one doesn't even show you what's up ahead. You just have to go through the corridor and you'll probably die. So I'm not even going to go in here. Sometimes there's an item uh, you can see within reach while like on the screen. It's kind of, you probably think, yes, we're going to go and get that item because, you know, it's important. My first instincts were, it's a tease. It's like, oh, it's just there, but once I get to it, I'll just die before I can actually grab it. Now you probably think, whoa, you're going way too far into this wrong way, man. Yeah, it's called because of that Champasaurus. Getting 100% here in secrets and assignments isn't that hard. But getting 100% in enemies, it's a lot tougher. Because you cannot really see, you know, where they all are. Because they're all in the wrong paths. And there are two enemies, and especially one, Champasaurus, which is so far away from the right path. It's ridiculous. So here we go. That one is dead too. Uh, I think it was actually guarding something. I could take a look, I guess. Yeah, it was holding this. Knockout asteroid. Yeah. I probably won't get all the items that are in this level, but that doesn't really matter because we're not going to use any power stones anyway. We're probably not going to lose a life. Well, I say this right now, but I mean, the only thing that can kill us really. It's just the traps. I mean, the enemies are mostly just Champasaurus or T-Rexes. And there are, man, there, there are still some Albertosaurus, sure. But, you know, whatever. So, oh yeah, this is also pretty funny. Yeah, rocks and thing. Um, because it's an old game, hopefully you can see this at the end product. But what I'm seeing now is like a, a black line. Just on the left of Eladar. There's like a black line. Pretty much this shows you where the trap is. So... You cannot see them you cannot see them all but i can see some and that's quite funny because it's an old game okay let's go in here uh, yeah also i should probably explain what elder's missions are because it has like one out of five i'll explain right now pretty much once you progress further into the maze elder will gain one of those uh objective points kind of thing uh, there are four of them related to this maze, and the fifth one is actually when you get to the very end. Uh, but there are pretty much four of them. And, you know, once you get further, you'll get another point. And this is pretty much to show 
how far you actually are into this maze because if you didn't know well it would be quite tough hopefully you can see the black line in here too if i move a little bit maybe you can see parts of the black line hey hello hi champasaurus uh hopefully you can see this because this is also a trap it's actually triggered very late though let, let me check just here i mean seriously that's like two steps and i'm already dead whatever uh let's see where do i have to go is this the way Sars. It says that I'm not supposed to go this way, so I'm not going to go. Uh, then I have no more option but to go in here. Hey, here we go. We got the second objective done. So that means we're kind of halfway through. Um, this is true. Um, I'm supposed to take an eye uh, on this objective thing because on the third one, there's something pretty important. So let's see. Am I supposed to go in here? No, but there's a plant. If you just go far enough, you can touch that plant and you can go back. And yeah, and also another thing, you probably think, well, did Eldor really need that plant? You cannot switch. You have, you're forced to stay in this power stance. You cannot go and grab items with Leia. You cannot go grab items with Sini. You all have to do this with Eldor. So that also means you have to kill enemies with Eldor. So you're kind of forced to do this. Oh yeah, this is also the good sound when you hear Nero talking, like, Aldar, I'm here! You know? Uh, this is a bit... Is this... Yeah, I have to think. Yeah, I'm not supposed to go in here. Well, of course, but I mean, like, some paths I have to go. Uh, then I'm pretty much forced to go in here. Hello! Oh! Third objective. Now I really have to pay attention, because this is the part where shit may go down. This is actually the right way, I think. So, uh, this is. Oh, yeah, also, another thing. Once you actually went the right way, but you decide to go back, you will also hear the sound. So, this is, a, this is like a reverse kind of warning. It's, it's weird. But I'm supposed to go in here because. Yeah. I'm, I'm just supposed to. Because here's the T Rex. Well, what the fuck did I just say, T Rex? It's a velociraptor. I said T-Rex. Uh, what's in here? Is it red fruit? Don't walk any further. But this is really absurd. If you go even further into the wrong path, like I'm gonna do now, there's a freaking Champasaurus! And there's a freaking Power Stone! Do not go any further though, because it still is the wrong path. But you only get one warning, so... And yeah, it's, it's freaking ridiculous. I mean, really. Did I just really say T-Rex? God damn it. Um, yeah. Music intensifies. Uh, I really should pay attention to where I'm supposed to go. Hello there. Hi. Wrong way. Still. Asteroid. And I really thought at this point it would be like, oh yeah, I see this asteroid, but like right here, that would be like a pit and I die. Because I think the game was kind of capable of doing this. But no, the game is actually a bit nicer than that. So, yeah. Uh, the last part is pretty straightforward. There's only like one or two alternative paths you can take. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're almost we're really close to the end now. There's only like one different path I can still take. Uh, which is to the right, because there's no other option. Yes, here it is. And we have another uh -huh, T-Rex. No, it's just a Velociraptor. Okay. Eh, I think this is it. I'm not going to get the item. There's probably a plant uh, behind the Velociraptor. I'm not entirely sure, but it doesn't really matter because I'm pretty much full health anyways. Uh, rocks. And we're up to the save point, which means, yes, we've done this maze. And there are only four out of five objectives. Like I said, the last one has to do with actually getting there. Hello, Albetrosaurus. Damn it. Oh, I just stopped this attack thingy here. I was lucky. Dang it. Uh, there's another Albetrosaurus. Yeah, wait. That w Wait, they were both here? Normally, there should be one, like, right, right here. They were both on the plateau, though. That was kind of weird. Maybe they're just good buddies. But yeah, that's an Albetrosaurus. It's funny. Uh, life Crystal. Nine life crystals. I mean, God, freaking Jesus. Okay, let's do the last thing with. Uh, yeah, you can actually switch right now. You're not. You're not forced anymore. 
Um, I'm still gonna show you one thing before I'm gonna kill the Apatrosaurus. You probably think, yeah, now we can go back into the maze and do more stuff. Nope. Invisible wall. Still, you can't. I think you can go back into the maze if you want to, but why would you? But no, you cannot scout anymore after you've done everything already, so. It's kind of a piss take. Um, Alberto Sauer's time. Hello. Can touch this? Just spam, 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 spam. Aldar's almost level up. Ah. What does it say? We're stopping mid jump. Uh, try to calm Kima down, near her down. She's waiting for you. Uh, I think we're not really supposed to do anything. It's like, yeah, we just have to go and get there. I think. We just have to go and get there. That's pretty much all it is. We don't really have to do anything. Hopefully this will be a 100% run, because I've tried this many, 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 many times, and hopefully I've got all the freaking enemies. Hello. Whoa, Nero is tripping out. Is she, like, stuck or something? Yeah, getting jiggy with it. Getting jiggy with it. Oh, yeah, getting jiggy with it. Jiggy with it. Jig, 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 jig. Let's end the level here. Ah, yeah, here it is. Mission number eight. 100%, 100%, 442 experience points for completing this mission, and I'm happy because it took me a couple of tries to actually find every enemy in the maze, so yeah, it was quite tough, but uh, we did it, kind of a boring level, uh, because lots of chapsaurus, not really much action going on, more like finding the right path, but the next mission, I'm gonna tell you already, the next mission is the one that I got also got stuck in and which probably probably was one of the most scariest missions uh, because of the way it actually begins but you'll still see next uh, next time what will what that will be like because really it's it's ridiculous it's it's crazy it's uh, it's scary <laughs> um, but yeah That'll be for next time, so for now I want to thank you guys for watching, of course. Like and favorite if you like the content, subscribe to our channel, record a few from upcoming videos. And I'll see you next time. Peace.